Hey, so uh, I do apologize. It's been a while since I put a video up. The weather here has just been absolutely terrible. Uh, a lot of the, the scenes I wanted to do lately are outdoor scenes. So uh, today I am going to go out there, take advantage of what decent weather we have and uh, get some shots done. And uh, I think you'll like this one today. It is going to be Edge of 17, a hilarious movie starring Haley Steinfeld, uh, Woody Harrelson, uh, Kyra Sedgwick, a few other people, and uh, it's just a great movie. Uh, for anyone that's in high school especially, especially the females, they'll like it. Um, who else? It's just just all ages. It's really good, really well done, and of course me doing this channel, I pay attention to the uh, scenes, but uh, uh, other than that, it's a good movie. Check it out. They have pretty much the full thing on YouTube. If not, if you have Netflix, uh, you're more, more than welcome to check that out too because uh, uh, it's worth a watch. And uh, let's check out some of the scenes. I got pretty much all the big scenes here. So let's go check it out, all right? All right, so I'm right in front of where uh, Nadine and uh, Krista had a good talk. And uh, where they were was actually right behind me sitting on... Um, this, uh, I guess you'd call it kind of a um, seating area. It's just below the uh, walking area here. Just above the walking area, sorry. And in the background, you can actually see this uh, black corner. This uh, black corner here amongst the rest of the uh, red on the school. And uh, if you look closely, you can even see, let's zoom in here, uh, these trees here. Of course, the seasons change, so the leaves fallen off them, but uh, you can even see this light post right here and I can even tell you exactly pinpoint where they were sitting so if we're looking at this uh, seating area like I said here uh, they would have sit been sitting at about an angle right here and how do I know that is because you can see this break in the concrete right where Nadine is sitting and uh, you can see these white, I believe they're reflectors or steel panels, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, in the background you can see this area pretty good right here. And if we just walk to the other side of this uh, courtyard, we will see the uh, school sign. And uh, in the movie, it would be Lakewood High School. Right here. So let's go even closer and have a look. Lakewood High School would have been written on this sign instead of uh, what it is right now. And uh, a lot of the scenes at the happened here in the movie, a lot of scenes happen at this school. It does look the same. You can even see that uh, there's uh, certain characteristics about it. Uh, You can see this uh, light up here, or is it right there? And uh, this is the main entrance where they would have been uh, going to school. And uh, this is where they would have been sitting, right near the entrance, right near the beginning of the movie. Uh, it's a pretty funny scene. All right, and here's where Nadine and uh, Krista had a very serious talk, right at this booth right here. Uh, Nadine was on this side, Krista was on this side as well. And you can even see in the background uh, these poles, which were actually uh, green in the film. You can see this uh, vent here, you can see these lights, but this is where they were sitting, right here at this booth. And a serious talk about uh, Nadine not approving of Krista dating her brother. Happened right here. So, right here is uh, Duffin's Donuts. It's actually the same name as in the film as it is in real life and uh, this is a scene where Nadine walks in after she's had a disastrous night uh, with the guy she thought she liked and it turns out to be a disaster. She ends up coming here uh, late at night and uh, her teacher saves the day and rescues her but uh, it's very similar. This uh, Fudu place is actually uh, in the movie in the background here and the, donut, the sign is pretty much the same. You can even kind of see the uh, soup, sandwiches, and muffins. Uh, I just went in there and had a donut, and I can tell you it's pretty good. So let's walk in and have a look, and uh, let's have a closer look, all right? 
this is actually the doors where uh, Nadine's uh, teacher would have walked through. You can actually see the uh, thank you garbage can on the uh, right hand side over here. Uh, you can see him walk through these doors. You can even see this free Wi-Fi sign right there on the right of him. And there's a uh, sign on the left in the windows where it says soup, sandwiches, and muffins there. That's where Woody Harrelson would walk through these doors right here behind this red seat, which is right here, pretty much identical. So in this corner right here is actually where Nadine would have been sitting. She would have been right above there, in that corner there, sitting right on this wall here. You can see the lights, you can see the door here. That's where she would have been, right at that table, right there. Now we're going to be checking out uh, Irwin's house, uh, where uh, Haley Seinfeld, or Nadine in the movie, goes and um, visits his, basically a mansion. Now this is a nice house, I don't want to get too close because there are people living there, but uh, we will pass by in here. So this is actually the house right here, and it was about right here where Nadine pulls up on her bicycle right about here stops there right in front of the doors and uh goes in and a lot of the house is uh the same here uh especially like the roof it does have a very uh nice architecture but uh if you remember in this scene too he has a pool in his backyard now i've checked this house it does, believe me it does not have a pool but Again, we want to respect these people's privacy, but this is right where it happens, right about here. Right at the front door. So Haley Steinfeld would have been at the gates, pulling up and uh, pulling into there. That's Irwin's house.